think he'd be better off at the moment Blake coming Justin on and doing another walk on to get himself going again because he's Game. as you say flat he's had well two opportunities the one a difficult one the 148 finish would have been a great shot didn't happen but that last leg was a better opportunity missed the ball came back to the board and still had two doubts at double 16 well one at double eight and 100. didn't get over the mark such a difference doesn't it in this short distance it's 4-0 could have been 3-1 could have been 2-2 two, two. he just doesn't look comfortable does he obviously very nervous 84. well he just dreamt about this one he playing on the big stage big TV debut has played at the UK Open and won a game before but he's never been him on the stage as the main attraction unfortunately the dream is turning into a bit of a nightmare for the man nicknamed the Titan Lovely earrings, huh? Have you got a tail like 41. that, Dan? Amber and women. I couldn't carry him off like Dirk. Now then. A little bit unfortunate there with that last dart. Maybe he might get you know, smiling there. Maybe he might get to a point in the match where he relaxes and thinks, well, I've probably lost the match. He might start playing proper darts then. Like I saw we kissed in that first game. Apart 54. from being 4-1 down, he just couldn't hit anything, could he? 5-1 down, and then all of a sudden, starts hitting the 180s. 59. Oh. Lovers in the air in Belgium. And Lager. Good cover shooting from Justin Pike. 96. Unable to find it with the next dart at it. Just under a bit of pressure on his own throw here, though. Can Dirk van Dijvenbode force a way back into the match? That's a great visit. Yeah, great visit there. 105. He's looking despondent, but smiling. So maybe he's getting to that point I mentioned before where he probably thinks he's not going to win the match. Relaxes. And then his best darts come out of the locker. Oh, this is big though. This would be a breaker throw. It would give him a, you know, a genuine foothold into the match. And need a double 16 and doesn't get it. Now, Justin Pike, if he can go into the break at 5 0, surely, surely that's a, a match winning lead. Oh, what a dart. Well, he's only had a few opportunities as uh, Justin Pipe has been cleaning up. He, and even when he's missed, his opponent has given him more opportunities, but not on this occasion. Well, the big Dutchman came out of the blocks, certainly on the walk-on. He looked fiery and fearsome, and he'll be going in at the break, 5-0 down to Justin Pipe. Come back after the break. Just a whitewash win of this weekend at the European Championship here in Hasselt in Belgium. He leads 5-0 against Dirk van Dijvenbode, whose TV debut is turning into a nightmare. Will the break have helped him? Can he turn it around? We will find out in the next few minutes, but Justin Pipe, well, he'll be open in the next couple of minutes. He's off that stage and thinking about a, a second round match against either Benito van der Pass, another up-and-coming young Dutch player, or the two-time world champion, former European champion as well, Adrian Jackpot Lewis. Well, Pipe has certainly done his job and done it well. Just a couple of missed doubles. But 50% at the moment, 3-1-80s, just under 100 average, 5 nil ahead. Massive leg here for the Dutchman. And DVD certainly won't want to watch the video. If there's any crumb of comfort for Dirk van Dijvenbode, bearing in mind that 100. he's got to win the next six legs, is that he is going to be at the World Championships as well. Okay. And that is his first time 40 of the whole match. Well, he's certainly got a very good chance of getting a tour card as well, with moving up into the top 64 with the prize money gain here, World Championships, what he's done on the European Tour this year. It's all about progression. 
And I've seen these young Dutch players coming over. There's quite a few of them now, a handful of really exceptional players in Holland. He's one of them. He hasn't produced it today, but I can assure you he is a decent player. Yeah, well, we are going to get to see some of the young Dutch talent on the way. We've got Jeffrey Desvan on the way this evening as Justin Pipe Whoa. fires in his fourth maximum of the match. Oh, why not have one back? Go on, Dirk van Dijk, why not? There you go, it's easy. Where's that been for the last five legs? Oh, despondent 1-8 there. <laughs> From the Dutchman. Can't do it now, so can the Dutchman get off the mark? 60. I'm sure you'll see a smile on his face if he can hit it, but he's still got to do it. Double 16 and double 16 hit. Well, he's got himself off the mark after coming back from the break. 5 0 down. Well, first time we've seen a, a realistic smile. On the big fella's face. Well, the first five legs, he didn't hit a single ton 40 or a ton 80. He's at one of each in that leg, taking out 42 as if it was nothing. Maybe. Maybe we're writing off a bit early. Well, it's never over until we've got that last leg. We've always. Well, we've seen some great comebacks in, in the years of doubts on TV. Certainly be a big call here to do it against Justin Pipe, averaging just under 100, scoring well, finishing well. He's going to have to break the throw, that's the important thing, on more than one occasion. One step at a time. 100. Yeah, well, there's going to be no panic amongst Team Pipe just yet. Oh, no. Van Dijvenboer has upped his game since the break. Maybe he just got his thoughts together, thinking he's let himself down. Last opportunity coming out for the second part of the match. He certainly produced it so far. Not in the first five legs. 60. But needs to do it over two or three legs and then give himself a little bit more belief. 43. He'd worked hard to steal the darts effectively there from Justin Pipe. That visit has handed the initiative back to the world number 19. I'm sure the Dutchman struggles as well because he is one of those aggressive players, likes to get to the board quick. And players do sometimes struggle against a 82. player who takes a bit more time to get himself in their own rhythm. Shooting from Dirk van Dijvenboer to get himself down to a finish. He's looking at 106 to get a break of throw and to make it 5 2. What kind of pressure is he going to be under? And there's the treble. They're staying there. Plenty of room, isn't there? No, well, it did change. Thought about it. Decided against. Now, oh, this will get him going. This would get him going. Tops for 106 for another leg. Oh, not quite. Is that the last dart that Dirk van Dijvenboda throws in this match? Justin Pipe looking at 100 for a 6 1 win. Gonna stay on the treble 20 for a dart at double 10 and gets the treble. Match dart, Justin Pipe for 6 1. Oh, he's gone next door and busted. Yeah. Oh, why, as you can see there, just on the other side of the... <laughs> well, Justin can't believe it, he's missed a chance there. He's still a long way ahead, but the more opportunities you give your opponent, it gives them that belief. He's still going to hit the double ten, though, and he does. Second leg on the trot for Dirk. He's starting to smile now. He's starting to play. He's starting to hit the doubles. Well, there's the fly. I thought he was doing his walk-on again. <laughs> In a fight between a small insect and a six foot three Dutchman, there is only one winner. But it appears to be the one you wouldn't think at the minute. Fifty-five. I think it was a moth. Was it a moth? Chris Mason's opened his wallet, I think. Maybe attracted by the 
glinting shiny earrings at Dirk van Dijvenberg. Well, certainly Justin Pike won't be too worried at this point because he knows he has quite a big lead but he doesn't want to drag it on too long because as you can see the Dutchman now is starting to get some some real feel and teeth into this match well crowd, just in the crowds love to see the comebacks don't yeah they? of course Justin will already have one eye on the next leg. That's a, he's thinking, well, look, I've got a free go to attack Dirk's throw here, but Dirk is expected to win this on his own throw. But that next leg, when I've got the throw, close it out there. I don't want him to go any further than that. When you're five, then look, there's no pressure whatsoever. If he wins this leg, five, three, just that little thing in the back of your mind. Because you're then thinking, I have to win this leg, otherwise I'll be under real pressure. Good visit though. Well, a bit like a bit like Simon Whitlock. Justin Pipe has struggled in the big TV tournaments. He has had some good results on the floor over the last year, year and a half. He actually won a tournament in Dublin the back end of last year and he made a, a European tour final in Holland earlier this year. But in terms of the TV tournaments, he's really, really had a tough time. Beaten by Los Ryder in the first round of the Worlds. First round of the match play, first round of the UK, or the, his first match at the UK Open. He entered at a later round as one of the seeded players. But it's not gone his way in well, the big one. Three or four years ago, he was the floor player of the year, wasn't he? He really was one of the best performers on the Pro Tour. Started to make his mark on TV, and then both have just taken a little bit of a dip. Well, it's, it's ever since he made the semi-finals of the Players' Championships in Minehead in 2013 that things haven't gone ideally for him. But now, Dirk van Dijvenbode, 99 for another leg on the board. Now, is it tops, tops? Well, that's what he went for, and that's the danger. Because one's gone out of the board, and he's not giving himself a dart, and he's only going to get two darts if he returns. He might not, because Pipe is looking at 108 for a 6-2 victory. He's already missed one match dart. He's going to get one at double 14. And he gets it, Justin Pipe. Well, he came under severe pressure in those last couple of legs. And Dirk van Dijvenbode almost found a way back into the match. But having started like a train, Justin Pipe kind of crawls over the line. He's through and will face either Benito van der Vaat or Adrian Lewis in round two.